Good morning, ladies, and welcome back to Fly vs. Yerk 11. We're into the second day of the competition, which means that it's lake day and all teams must fish in any freshwater lake of their choice. Team Vision kicked off the lake day in style with an 8.12 kilo lady in the second cast of the day. But after that, the fishing was rather slow for all teams in the first episode of the lake day. Three of the teams spent the whole morning in the car in order to reach the best waters, but now it's 11 o'clock and all teams will soon be out on the lake. After the first three hours of the lake day, the number point is currently held by Team Vision with 8 pike, followed by Team Leech with 4. The Fly Guys are also in the lead for the Big Fish point with 8.12 kilos, but on the top 5 point they were passed by Team Leech in the very last minutes of the last episode as they caught two good sized fish in just a few casts. Despite losing the top 5 point, Team Vision are going into episode 5 as leaders with 3 points in the total, followed by CWC Fishing Team with 2 points. The teams have no idea how the other teams have fished during the morning, but at the end of this episode, at 2 o'clock, we will run the last phone report of the whole competition, and they will also get to know approximately where the other teams are fishing. Now, let's roll out Fly vs Jerk 11, episode 5. Hey guys, welcome back to episode 5 of Fly vs Jerk 11. We've just made a giant move. Not giant, but like 30 minutes move uh, and arrive at the first spot where we're fishing uh, edge of a reef. So a drop off from shallow water is down to 3-4 meters. The water temperature is a little bit higher here, which we hope is, uh, is a good thing. Uh, and let's see if we catch them. There will be a lot of spot hopping in this episode. Stay tuned. Hey guys and welcome back to episode 5, Team Vision. Just had a pike hunting in the surface, so uh, let's see if the little bit of wind here makes it uh, make them hunt a little bit better. Oh, it's biting, it's biting. Yeah, yeah. Alright, it's a small one. But it's a fish. Right away when it changed a smaller one. Yeah. First cast with a small fly. Number nine. We saw a pike hunting in the surface. First cast, like just a very simple flashable fly, imitating a European Cisco. Uh, so it's a little bit green in the back. First cast, right away. Yes, that's a good start for episode five. Number nine. Number nine. Finally, it's time for Team Ray Marine to hit the lake. And if you're paying close attention, you might recognize the boat launch from the last episode when Silver Suzuki put their boat into the water. That's right, after crossing the Baltic Sea on the same ferry during the night, these two teams have now driven several hours across Sweden to the same lake and same boat launch. On the first day, Team Ray Marine went from heroes to zeros and are entering lake day with zero points in the bag. They are fishing the same lake as they were fishing last year and in case you don't remember, they got both the big fish point and the top 5 point from this very spot. Can they repeat that streak this year? It's sunny but it's really nice wind and the conditions are almost perfect. Now we start fishing. Come on Victor. Now we take them. Come on. Was it the bottom? I think it was a strike. A big stone here. I will check because... Yeah. Fish on! Cool. Net, net, net. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Maybe shit. it's big one. Yeah, calm, calm, calm. Ooh. Take it easy, take it easy. It's not so... Yeah, it's so a good, big. it's a good one. A good not start. So big, but... We fish maybe three minutes and the first fish. And I had a hit as well. Maybe it was the same pike. You think so, Victor? Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, I think so too. No. No. Under 75. But the first pike yes. took three minutes. Nice. Good, Victor. Thanks for the pike slam. <laughs> You're welcome. We're gonna be hot today. <laughs> This is uh, mouse fishing in the episode 5. We have changed the spot now. It's a little more shallow, so around 5-6 meters. So we never give up. We choose this lake because uh, small and spot fishing uh, recommended. He said that uh, they have taken many, many pike over 110 centimeters this year and many over 120 centimeters it's a risk we take we can go home with zero pike but we can also go home with the biggest pike in the competition we took the chance hopefully it's gonna be good but we don't know yet manuel 
Yeah. Are we able to catch big one or not? <laughs> yeah, we will turn this, I think. Yes. Let's go. The plan is keep on drifting and they cover a lot of water. We just need to stay here drifting and drifting. Yeah, we have a long edge with uh, six, seven meters on one side and down to 10 meters on the other side. And we try to uh, drift over this edge because we know that uh, many fish are standing there and uh, they come up really easy when they get active. So we keep fishing this edge. Uh, so the plan is uh, really to go for the big one. So uh, we're waiting for that strike. And we are ready. New hooks, everything. I just had a strike here. It was also a very hard strike. See, release both hooks. Hold your rod, Marcus. I feel it now. That shouldn't happen with these hooks. First time in two days, I feel like it's going to happen any moment. I always feel it. <laughs> but this is really good conditions. We are back on the hot spot. There's grass, it's wind, and in time we will have a strike. Maybe it's like a striking period or something. So, see you soon. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we just start fishing and the 11 hour port was zero, zero, zero. It's very nice weather here and it's perfect condition. So, we are in a really hot spot. So. Hopefully we're going to see some real nice pike soon. Today, day two, we, uh, we try to catch five big ones. Not the numbers today. Cross your fingers for us today. During Archipelago Day, Team Silver Suzuki caught no less than 80 pike in 10 hours of fishing, which is a crazy number on any normal fishing day. But in Fly vs Jerk, it wasn't enough to secure the number point of the first day. Today they will go for the big fish and top 5 point instead and hope to have the margin on their side. We now have all teams except CWC fishing team on the water. They are taking a big risk and will be driving for almost 2 more hours. The bigger the sacrifice, the bigger the potential reward, hopefully. Raymarine had a good start and caught fish after only 3 minutes of fishing and if there's one, there are often more. Yeah, fish on, come on, come on. Bring the net. Oh, you have luck. Come on. Come on, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Wait, wait, it's wait. It's a nice one. Oh. Yes! yes! <laughs> Fucking hell. I locked the window. <sighs> it took on a so short line. It was so amazing. <laughs> cool. Ooh. Cool. <laughs> I love it. We How big is it? Down. No, it's not so big. <laughs> oh. Is it 100? Yeah, it's 100. Yeah, it's 100. It's 100. Yes! On my line. Ooh. There you go. One. Exactly. Yeah, no, no. 100. Can I do this? <laughs> it's a perfect start. <laughs> and it's fat as well. Now it's time to weigh the fish. Seven. It could be a little bit over seven, but it's, it's okay for us. Seven kilo pike. Mm, feels amazing. For forgiveness, wash this pain out of me. Can you pull me from the shadows? Will you help me get off my knees? Stop, Father, won't you save me now? I got the devil locked in me. I shot me down, down. I just felt a little tick, and just two meters from the boat, the fish just take the bait and... Now we take one more yeah, cool. Come on. Sorry, shouldn't talk too much. <laughs> I know you want the bait in the water. It's a good bait. I have had three strikes on this bait already. How's that for a start, boys? Episode 5 has barely even started, and the first meter pike is already caught and released by Team Ray Marine. 100 centimeter is a really good fish for the top 5 point, but with 7 kilos it's not enough to break the top fish caught by Team Vision in the last episode. The fight continues. What? Oh, it's not big, but net, 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 net. net. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's Akta. It's in the, 
It's in the grass. Ah, it's what's in the stuff. <laughs> it was around the Stop tree. It. That's why it was so heavy. Yeah. <laughs> it's 80. 80? Look, 80. It was a really good strike and it was a tree under, under, so it went under. So I thought it was much bigger than it, <laughs> than it was, but... Ah, my releases are nice today. <laughs> 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 well, now the first hours has been running away from us in episode five, so we really need to find the fish. We haven't we haven't find them, found them yet, but hopefully here the water temperature is about two degrees higher here than it was down south. So hopefully they will be here. Let's find out. Come on, man. Come on. How can time disappear so fast? Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, exactly. Can you, if you're gonna take it, can you just... That had to be a pike. Freaking, oh yeah, it was a pike. Yeah, 100%. There's no rocks there. I know. Let's bring out the champion from yesterday. <laughs> the weather is perfect, they should bite. I don't understand this. Something is wrong. Here's one by oh that's a big pike. You see it? Yeah. You see it? That's a big pike. Come on, they are here. Why don't you eat? Ah, it's a small one. Ah oh, well it doesn't matter. It's a fish. Sun comes up. Fish. Not the ones we came here to find. But as soon as the sun came up, we had a strike. So let's hope the bigger ones will start eating now. Mechtail snaskar Jösen with a UV big tail. It's been awesome. The struggle continues for Team Jigar and their first landed fish of this episode was too small for the top 5. But at least they've had a good sized follower and the wind is picking up. So maybe the mood will change in the afternoon. Bara and Lasse are grinding for their first bite of the day in one of the largest lakes in all of Europe. A lake famous for being hard to crack, but the big one is never far away. They are fishing shallow points close to deep water when all of a sudden Bara gets a good bite. Fish on! Net! First big fish. It feels good. Very good. I feel. This is a nice fish. I feel when he shakes his head. It's a better fish. Oof. Yeah, ooh, this is a big one. Not that big, but it's big. I see you. It's long. Yeah. Yes! First one! Four more! <laughs> yes! We fight him for this! Four more! Uh, okay. Well done, but fight! You tapper yell down. Slippery suckers. How long we hang down? 90. 90? Yeah. Well done, Bara. Yeah. Nice first fish, 90 centimeters. Well done. Ricky the Roach, 18 centimeters. Nice fish. I put him back. First fish of the day for Team Silver Suzuki. A nice 90 cm gator weighing in at 4.2 kilos. Not as big as they first thought, but still a nice one. And now they got some company on the water. Lasse, Lasse, <laughs> look! Ray Marine coming! It's incredible. I think they know that we catch fish. Incredible. What should you say, sneaky bastard? What the fuck? Go to your own places! <laughs> you can go whatever you want in whole Europe. And we are on the same spot at the same lake. That's incredible. They do exactly what we do. Yeah. It's gonna be a fun fight today. Yeah, we're gonna take them, I swear. Don't show any baits. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you think it's his place, this. No. What do you think? <laughs> of course not. They like our place, but we was here first and we take fish here. Okay, Victor, 
we need to show them how to fish this place. Now we block them here yeah. and take the drift down. Go with 10, full speed forward. Yeah. Okay, but uh, let's go there and say hello to them and see how it goes for them. All right? Yeah, we do that. <laughs> The tension is high between the rivaling teams and it doesn't get better when Victor hooks into a nice pike right in front of the eyes of Bara and Lasse. Ooh. Small one. But take it easy, take, take it easy. Take the net, take the net. Is it big? I think it's quite small, isn't it? It was a great strike. We take it, I do a tell on, you take the net. And they did that store. Nice. Don't show him the lures. No. <laughs> they just catch uh, uh, quite big fish. I can see that in the net. It's loose. Just uh, got a pike in the net. Yeah, it's smoking hot here. It's smoking hot. Oh, it's a beautiful fish. Perfect. It's a long one. Wait, wait, wait. Move the net. 97. 97? 97. 97, yeah. Good? It's exactly 97. <laughs> so thin. Good competition fish. Okay, bye bye. 197. And how long have we fished? Uh, maybe a half an hour. Yeah, 30 minutes. Is there any better feeling in the world than catching a fish like that right before the eyes of your opponent? Team Raymarine have now caught three fish, not much compared to Team Vision who still are in the lead with nine fish for the number point and 8.12 kilos for the big fish point. Team Leech are still in the lead for the top 5 points, but have an average of 87cm on their 4 fish. Team Raymarine only have 2 approved fish, but their average is 98.5cm. 3 more approved fish for them and they'll get the top 5 points, unless something drastic happens. Yeah, I think I saw Truman over there. Just saw something very red passing by here. Really? Yeah. On the road? Yeah, I saw re something red coming there. So same thing, shiny and red. Let's see if they're here soon. Yeah, I think it's them, I saw them over there. So we're getting company again. That's nice, good that the bite is off. <laughs> we're pretty sure that they're gonna fish the same area like they did last year in the archipelago. And if we calculated their driving time and everything like that, we, they would be here between 11 and 12. They're right on time actually. They spent like eight hours in the car. <laughs> 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 and the bite is over, so great guys. Good luck. We shouldn't put a banana or cookies there because they, they actually got re did really well the last day. So. But then we know we're going to be seeing them tomorrow too. So Then we really need to put the boat on the, on the ramp so they can't ramp before us. Yeah, sure it wasn't from mine. Maybe it was just a red delivery truck, we'll see. If that delivery truck was a truck consisting of two very hungry pike fishermen ready to deliver some big pike and to steal some points, well, I guess that could be considered a delivery truck, yes. After driving for more than 8 hours, Team Catch With Care are finally on the spot. Yes, finally we are at the lake. So many hours driving. But I think it's worth it because uh, we had good fishing yesterday and we get two points and now we are here. Yeah, and, and it's so nice here and so many big fish. Yeah, but that was so. the, the only option we have anyway with yeah, the driving yeah, yeah. and the time we need to, to, to stop and everything. So now we are here, we, are we have five hours. Yeah, and the condition is Five good. hours fishing and I think it's the best time, the afternoon. No. Yeah, yeah. So it's not that cold as we, we pre fish here. No. It was really cold when we went there a few days ago and we see nothing, but now I think if something can happen here. It's, we, we're going to, to take something. Yeah. We, need to, we need to hurry up, we have only a few hours, so we fix the boat and, uh, and we go. Okay, yeah. let's do it. Okay, yes, they are there. Ah, so oh. it's easy. That is serious, yeah. It's good, they're late. Mille is filming our car, most likely. Ah, that's fine. <laughs> So uh, Miller has a really terrible looking jacket. <laughs> really? It's a really surprise, you know, so many lakes and we're driving so many hours so up far and, and uh, in the Arctic Circle and we, we, we meet the guys here. Yeah. Somehow we, we are connected to each other. <laughs> yeah, we have absolutely no idea they will be there but but look, they are there, so it must be a good reason if you're on the same, we pick the same yeah, place. Yeah. We can fish still five, six hours and they, they need to stop 
in a couple of hours because I think they were here really early in the morning. So let them fish and then we take over. Then we, because they're gonna leave some big mamas for us. Okay, Pierre? Yeah. Looks like they just want to go fishing. Yeah. No coffee for, for they. Doesn't seem like they're too friendly. They're just driving away. We're missing you guys. Come here, have a chat. We have a cup of coffee for you. So we're just driving now some, uh, some area just to, to see what, what's happening because we've been there a couple of days ago and uh, we find a few things quite interesting, some bait fish and, uh, and stuff. So we just do a quick drive around to see what's happened and we will start. We have like a couple of spots we really want to try. I'm going to start with the mini mouse with the pig shad 23. I like this white color so much. They can see it from long distance. And normally when I get a bite on this one, they take the head. So uh, this one I'm going to fish really slowly, quite deep and uh, try to trick some pike here. Yeah, we're going to start here because we're just on the edge of the drop and a few days ago we found lots of bait fish on the deep water, like eight, nine meters. So we're going to start from the drop, five, six meters and going slowly on the, on the bait fish and see, see what happened there, but uh, they definitely pike around here. I don't know if you remember, but I'm sure you will. Uh, last year, this one bring, me, uh, bring us a really big fish. So I'm going to start with this one. I trust like 100% this bait. Uh, this color, particularly white and, uh, and orange on, on clear water, is, uh, it's really effective. I put a little bit of uh, lead on the front just to fish a uh, little bit deeper and uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe I will adjust after the dead, but uh, I start with this. Yeah, the mouse usually I fish like really slow retrieve. So this is why it's very important to, to, to make sure you know exactly how, how deep swim the bait, but usually slow retrieve. And sometimes I do some little push on the rod. So the bocktail just start to move like this and it push a little bit more water. So I have quite good results with this kind of uh, retrieve. Should be good, it's good condition. It's not that cold at the last few days. Oof, look. What? Looks so nice. <laughs> I was thinking you have a fish or something. <laughs> you had fish? No. no. He's just happy to see his bait. Yeah. <laughs> look my bait. It took until almost one o'clock to get everyone out on the water. But finally, now we have both Team Vision and CWC on the same spot and Team Raymarine and Silver Suzuki. We all remember that Raymarine took a 97 right before the eyes of Bara and Lasse. I wonder if something similar will happen in the lake in the northern part of Finland. One fish in the last hour, two fishes in total. Guys, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, we're looking. We're looking for the fish that will bite. Those that we have found that actually did bite, it's just small nibbles. Well, one hour left to the uh, to the report. We've had it tough, but that will not continue. I'm done playing around now. Now we're gonna catch them. We're gonna catch them big. We'll see how the other guys are doing. Um, they're doing it better than us, 100% sure. That doesn't matter. We're just going to be f fishing better, aren't we? Yeah. And have fun doing it. Yeah. Let's do it. One o'clock. Did we catch anything now, Marcus? No. I don't think so, not this hour. No. Zero fish. So it's one hour left to, to know what the other teams are doing. What do you think we are going to do, Marcus? Do you, do you want to fill your paper or do you want to continue to fish for I the I want to one? have the big fish in the net. Then we fish for the big fish. Oh, <laughs> looky, looky. It's Pierre. <laughs> you see? Let's, Maybe. Let's try him. It's big fish. We try? Uh, we try. <laughs> One time. We do that for CVC? Yeah. Okay. Spotted bullhead, Mura's mouse. <laughs> when nothing works, Pierre always says, take Mura's mouse. It's good. But so it's we do this for good, CVC. But it's not good when they not feed. They need to feed. When the pike move, then Mura's mouse is best. So with CVC on the water, time to give them a challenge. <laughs> Gonna fish it quite high up in the in the water column, and uh, Marcus is gonna go like with a small fly, really heavy cone head on the bottom, and we'll see the difference if there's any difference. But at least we're trying two different techniques. I can see it from here that Pierre is casting Mura's mouse. Yeah, this has a happy face. That's how Truman looks when Pierre is catching the big fish. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of different kind of mice swimming around in the waters right now. Team Vision, Team Mouse, 
obviously catch with care, and now Team Leech. Even Barra and Lasse are wetting their Mura's mouse. Someone who's not fishing with a mouse imitation right now is Jacob and Björn from Jigga.nu. The day has been extremely tough for almost everyone so far, but the teams are unaware of that. Björn, what are your predictions so far? I would say 8.2 kilos is what I think is coming up so far. I would say the number of the biggest team is 470. Oh, and the number is 35. Okay. Yeah, that's what I think. Okay. 7.4, 437 and 27 fish. Who do you think are uh, leading the, the five longest? Uh, oh, that's a tough one. I think Team Leech. Well, yeah. if we are right and they are up north, yeah. uh, they might have had it tough. Yeah, but... Same as it's we... It's all about timing. Yeah. So. This feels better, Bjorn. Yeah, this feels better. Of course it's better. I said it's time to stop fooling around. Uh, go from the other side, go from the other side. Well, it's not a giant, but... If it's 90, it's better than... Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, I'm it's ready, I'm up. ready. And it's thank you, thank you net. for unhooking it. Okay. Oh, I don't know if it's 90, but bigger than 75. Good job, Mr. Tailman! Are you ready? I was born ready. Ah. Apparently you're not. No. Nope. Let me take it. Okay, go ahead. Let me just set the two. It's such a in girl. My finger. Okay. Oh no, this is fat and short. Okay, 80 maybe. Fin 82. 82. Yeah. Here you go, guys. 82. 82. God damn it. Oh well. I oh, need a 118. This was so stupid to set the finger in the mouth. I don't have time for this. I will clean this up when I get home. But right now I don't have time for this. I wanna fish. So let's just make a quick fix and get back on it. When fishing it's important to always be well prepared because accidents do happen. Here Jacob got a nasty bite from a pike but could easily take care of the wound and continue to fish. Fred and Manuel haven't had a single bite so far on day two, but when fishing the way they do, when the bite finally comes, it could be a really, really big one. Fish on! Oh, it took it! That please! This is a big one. Okay, Fredrik. Yeah. It feels... Ooh! I'm, okay, my line now is it's out. going. My line is out. Where is it? Yeah. Okay. I'm getting. I'm pushing it now. I'm pushing it now. Okay, it's going. Okay, it's go go go. Ooh. Okay, Fred. It's coming up now. It's coming up. Okay, it's going. Oh, don't lose. Ah. Ah, Fred, Fred, Fred. Come on, baby, don't go. Ah. Oh, it's still going. It's, this is nice size. Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on. I come put on. anchor out. Do you want me to? No, no. Is it a salmon or what? It's still going. It's still going strong. You want me to release anchor? Yeah, please. Oh. Okay. I just want you to be ready when it comes. I'm, um, you can come back here. Yep. Well, maybe we should have at the anchor. I don't know. It depends it's on. It's now. It's loose. And I have a waypoint, so we are fine. <sighs> okay. It's... Did you take it? It's oh. on. <laughs> it's on, man. <gasps> yes. Woo. Woo. Awesome! <laughs> oh, that's why we're here. Yes. 
That's a nice fish. Oh, I'm shaky. Uh, okay, I will put the anchor on and then we fix it. Oh, totally shaking. That's why we are here. Oh. Uh, I take it. Uh, that's the shit. This is a nice size fish. <laughs> On the Dexter Shad 25. Now it's time to uh, measure this one. Look at the body, Frederick. Look at the yeah. stomach. <laughs> this one, we're gonna weigh it. <laughs> yeah, this one we weigh. This should be on the top five today. I have the head at zero now. 111. Look. Yeah. Perfect. 111. Okay, okay, we let it rest in the net for a while. So, Ooh. <laughs> are you ready? We know already that the net is 1.3. So, oh, 10.88. So, 10.88, and that is 9.6. That should, could be. Uh, Yes, maybe big biggest fish. That's a, that's a potential top fish for the day. We are closing the 10 kilo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> that's really cool. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new top fish for the day and for the whole competition. 111 centimeters and 9.58 kilos. Let's all raise our hats for Team Ilex Gulti. Whenever you call my name, I'ma come running fast as a runaway train. I can pick you up. Yeah, I'm still shaky. Yeah, I'm speechless. <laughs> that was the one we were here for, and uh, yeah, and five more than and, this. And, yeah, four, four <laughs> more. <laughs> I'm fishing the bait uh, slow with lots of uh, stops. Sometimes longer than other. I'm just fishing with the light head, jig head. So I wanted to come down a little bit. I caught the pike on the Dexter Shad, the 25. I choose this one because I've been fishing with this one for many, many years. So uh, it's really my favorite bait and we have been having really hard fishing now. That's why I choose this one. Because when it's hard fishing, I really want the lure that I trust. And it uh, really worked out. 9.6. <laughs> now that is what weeks and weeks of training, scouting the right place and finally putting the bait on the fish looks like. Hard work and dedication finally got rewarded for Team Ilex Gunki. And that fish, apart from weighing in at 9.58 kilos, also steals the big fish point from Team Vision, who now is down to two points, together with CWC. This episode is shortly coming to an end, but if there's something all these guys know, is that it's just to keep on going to the bitter end. And as the famous saying goes, it's not over until the fat... Um, Pike Lady eats the Mura's mouse, or something like that. One last cast, then we're going in and uh, spending the last 20 minutes in there, okay? Right. It doesn't feel that great right now, but I know they're here. It's just a matter of time and actually believing it. Uh, we do, we are believing it. It's just that it's quite hard when, when they're not biting, and the ones that are, are not big enough. But that's fishing, our friends. And uh, you know it, and we know it. We uh, started fishing a little late today, and we have uh, two fish, 190 fish, 4.2 kilo. But uh, as we were interested to see how it goes for the other teams, it's very close to the port now. What do you think, Lasse? Yeah, only two fish is not enough, but I mean, we have, uh, as you said, we start a little bit late today, and we have real nice hours in front of us. and. Uh, we are in a good spot that are, we used to catch a lot of big, big pikes, but I don't think two is, no, we don't have any chance on this report, but we'll, we'll keep hammering. Four more. <laughs> Four upgrades. Chew. <laughs> I was dancing in that bite. <laughs> it's a big one. Be ready with the net. Yeah, it's here. <laughs> oh. yeah. Pike love your bait. Yeah. 
<laughs> over, over 75, maybe 80 <laughs> fish. <laughs> Good work. You know, I was taking some dance moves, take dance steps, and then BAM! <laughs> yeah. 83. 83? Exactly. Cool. Uh, 83 centimeter. Really nice. Right in time for the final report of this competition, Per gets the third one over 75 centimeters for Team Ray Marine. After this report, all the teams will fish in the dark, not knowing how the other teams are catching. So even if someone catches a 10 kilo fish at the end of the lake day, the others won't know about it until you and I do so. Hello everybody, Pierre, Team CBC. Uh, we have zero fish and we are in the northern part of Finland. Hold on, ho hold on. Ho C CBC had zero fish. Did you say so? Yes, zero, yeah. Okay. Nothing to declare. Yeah, yeah. This is Lasse Litzel reporting. Team Silver Suzuki. We have two fish. Uh, 4.2 kilos and 90 centimeters. And we are in uh, west, bomb, west part of Sweden. Yeah, uh, this is Jacob, Team Jigar. Uh, we have a total of three fish. The biggest fish is three kilos and the total top five is 157. Uh, we are in northern part of Sweden. Okay, Andreas Mass Fishing here. We have zero fish to report. <laughs> <laughs> and we are in south of Sweden, in Småland. <laughs> okay, this is Team Leech, Marcus speaking. We have uh, five uh, fish. Uh, the big fish is 6.42 and the top five is 349. And we are in northern part of Sweden. Per speaking for Team Ray Marine. We have uh, seven pikes, the biggest seven kilo and uh, our top five 280 and we are in the middle part of Sweden. Okay this is Nicholas from uh, Team Vision. We have nine fish. The biggest fish is 8.12 and the top five is 176 centimeters and we are in the Finnish Lapland. Frederik speaking for Team Gunkidex. We have uh, one fish, a big fish so it's 9.58 111 centimeters Good job Good job! Well done Big one Good, good job. job Gunky Good fish, good fish <laughs> where, where are you Gunky? Uh, middle of Sweden Okay, bye bye guys, well, well done Gunky Good job Fred Good fishing guys Thank you guys Bye cool. Bye See you, bye Okay, bye 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 bye, bye, -bye. Oh my god, this is really cool. That's really interesting. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Really and cool. you know, I know somebody who is really disappointed now. Yeah. Because I was thinking they have the biggest fish yeah. and Gunke the number point. Same, exactly that, Holy yeah. Holy Jesus, that was a, a good for us. Yeah, but they, they can get the number two vision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're on the game for a point two. But of that's course. interesting. Everything can happen today. Yeah. It's like nine kilo, we can beat this year. Yeah. And you know, we have fished one hour here. Yeah, yeah. And we have so many contacts. Okay. Oof. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come okay, on. come here. Okay, so we didn't have the biggest fish anymore. No, but we have the one point for numbers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but we are on a point, man. We have yeah, the chance. Well, so. not, not the point that we were expecting. <sighs> I was. I thought it was a little bit too, too. Uh, but it's good. But yeah, there's yeah. three good fish at least: seven, eight, and a nine point six eight. Yeah. So well done, guys. Well done, Gunky. But sorry, Gunky, we're gonna catch a bigger one now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Everything is possible. Yeah, but uh, not always, Niklas. Eight. Eight point. What yeah, is it? but one. this one is solid. Yeah. And... Uh, top five. Yeah. Let's go. It's astonishing. Yeah, Team Ganki has an awesome yeah, it, fish. Yeah, we expected a, a big fish. Yeah. Uh, but um, I think before the day is over, we're gonna have a bigger fish. But I, I was expecting somebody to go for numbers. Yeah. And nobody has gone for numbers. 
CVC has no fish, uh, but they could have made a move and they might have been fishing for two hours. It's, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> they have been. Next episode, we'll be hammering it. Where's Barra? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but Barra had two pike, 90 so... centimeters. So I don't know what he, he, he's doing there, uh, drifting, so we could... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but okay. We don't need to think about Barra now. Wow, this is... <laughs> what a report, it's interesting. Team yeah. CVC, zero fish. Zero fish. I, I thought he Ma was kidding. Mouse zero. The mouse zero. Gunky one, but a big one. Really big one, that's... Ooh, wow, it's 9.52 kilos in one fish. 111 centimeters. So. Our friends over there. Yeah, they were close to us, we can see them. <laughs> Seven fish, so uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting this afternoon. Yeah. Now we take them. We fight. Come on. Yeah. To the dark. To the dark, to the end. And the uh, Gunky, 9.58. Respect. Oh, that's really nice pike. Ooh. Keep fighting. Yep. Uh, okay, so don't miss the next episode of Fly vs. Jerk. We go for the top five <laughs> and the biggest. Let's go. And that's it for this episode, fellow fishermen. A tough day to say the least, but we just saw the biggest pike in the whole competition so far, caught by Team Ilex Gunki. When two-thirds of the second day is over, the table is as following. Team Vision are in the lead for the number point, with a surprisingly small amount of nine fish caught. Team Ilex Gunki are quite obviously in the lead for the big fish point, with a monster pike Manuel caught on the Dexter Shad. Not a single team have caught five fish over 75 centimeters so far, but Team Leech are the closest, and the four fish they have adds up to 349 centimeters. This means that Team Vision, Leech, and Ilex Gunki have earned a point each so far today. All in all, Vision have two points together with CWC and Jigga.nu, Leech, and Ilex Gunki have one point each. The day is far from over and many of the teams predicted that the evening bite will be the best when the morning was so cold. And they were not wrong. The final is coming closer and if you haven't got the tickets for Sportfiske Messan in Stockholm where we will pre-screen the final episode of Fly vs Jörg 11 it's right about time to do that now. This event is taking place on the 20th of March and will be a memory for life for all involved. See you there and give a thumbs up for the video if you enjoyed it. Lights out and prepare for the next Friday when the final episode from the Lake Day hits YouTube. Ciao!